Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. Scotty the Trucker coming to you from the Manuka Terminal. And I know, shocking, I'm actually wearing a shirt with some color. It's a Christmas shirt. Uh, my, my parents bought me a couple t-shirts because they got tired of seeing me in faded blue and faded gray and faded black t-shirts, which is all I own, <laughs> at least for out here. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to uh, just do a quick uh, little review of the Manuka Terminal. And I say terminal loosely. Um, but it's it's a good place. I, I've actually enjoyed it. Um, and while I'm talking, you'll be seeing video. Um, and it starts off with the best part about this place is the trailer parking. Um, this is nothing like Pittston, um, which can be quite a nightmare. There's just not enough parking there. Uh, this is more reminiscent of uh, trailer parking in Springfield. It's nice and spread out. Uh, plenty of spots. Um, for as busy as this place is, it's, it's not too busy. Um, pull-throughs, you're able to pull through. There's enough room for that. So, yeah, um, two thumbs up on the parking. That's the, probably the best thing about this place. Um, now, as far as the amenities, it has showers and laundry, which you'll see. Uh, but basically, the amenities building part of it, it's all, everything's kind of all together. Uh, just off the maintenance base, there's uh, a lounge, which you'll see. Um, there's uh, no food service other than uh, vending machines, but there is a vending machine that has, um, it's more like a refrigerator. You'll see there's a refrigerator with drinks in it, a refrigerator with sandwiches and, and uh, uh, you know, other kind of meal type items, more than candy bars and stuff like that. But there is one, a vending machine with candy bars. You know, your typical vending machines but you basically grab what you want and you scan it through well, you're kind of on your honor scan it through um, the little machine there and uh, you're there um, there is coffee on um, I don't know that it looked it was kept full most of the day today but I don't know that there's anybody kind of assigned that duty regular coffee was out most of the day but there was this uh, I don't know hazelnut or something um, but anyway, yeah, uh, just a single kind of small lounge with uh, microwave and, uh, you know, vending machine type items. Um, showers are are semi-private, I would say. It's it's kind of more like a locker room with, um, um, not cubicles, but um, what do you call it? Well, you'll see in the video. You know, there's a bench in the middle of this, of this room with some lockers. Uh, you grab your towel in the corner, and then there's three... Um, stalls I guess is the best way to say it two regular and one handicapped um, but that's fine uh, the stalls are private uh, has, a, has a little seat in there and a shower um, no sinks in this in this area if you want to use a sink uh, you'd have to go to the bathroom which the showers are accessed through the bathroom um, but not bad uh, you know you don't have the full privacy of your own little shower room but uh, but you do have your, your stall which was fine towels were clean there was plenty of them um, let's see uh, from there there's one small office that kind of covers everything um, you know you got your maintenance uh, desk you've got the person that does all your permits and, and stickers which by the way I did it was painless uh, kind of walked in and she gave me a new set of everything even stuff I don't need so I wish I probably should have gone in with a little more information on my own so I don't have to sift through it so much but anyway I got a full stack of new permits I got my IFTA stickers uh, all taken care of right there really quickly uh, very helpful folks in there um, no wait for service uh, it's not a 24-hour facility um, so you know I got in last night um, but uh, I couldn't check in until this morning at five which I was I was first in line but there really weren't that many people here I don't know that there was a wait for anybody so uh, truck they told me to bring the truck in right away I came in for a couple little things and it you know as things go it, it expanded from there I came in for a preventative maintenance chassis lube um, and my batteries uh, for the for a while now my batteries have seemed like they are kind of losing their power um, you know especially if I'm not running the APU it seems like the power drains really fast you know my um, my microwave will drain the power very quickly so anyway I wanted to check that out and uh, so they switched out my batteries but they also found um, issues with my brakes both steer and drive so uh, not exactly sure if they replaced all of them I'm not sure yet but uh, um, 
anyway, there was additional brake issues, and I think they updated my APU, uh, which was, I think, coming up right around the corner as far as preventative maintenance. So at least I got a lot done. I got all my permits, got the truck hopefully running great. Uh, we shall see. And uh, I'll be, you know, once I got my truck here, it's, I don't know, it's about 3 p.m., something like that, no, no 1 p.m. Um, I'm going to get some sleep, take a 10, and then I'll be ready for dispatch around midnight tonight. So uh, looking forward to get back out there. I really didn't want to take this break, but uh, I'm kind of glad I did to just get everything, you know, stuff that's been kind of hovering on my mind as far as the truck goes and everything. Good to get that off my mind, so hopefully everything will be good. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, a little heads up. Um, I will say the uh, Qualcomm GPS that brings you here, I don't know if it's everybody's because mine seems to be quirky, but the Qualcomm will drop you off at the front entrance, which is a car entrance. Made a little mistake there and had to back out into the road and, and do a pretty sharp uh, U-turn to get where I was supposed to be going. Um, it's, uh, oh, and I should have looked, it's McLean. It's like McLandon or something. It's the if you're coming in here for the first time, uh, it's the road before. Like when you see Prime on the left, it's the road to the left of Prime. The first road you get to before Prime, you take that left, and then a little bit up the road, your your truck entrance and inbound is on the right. It's not on uh, Manuka Road. Uh, Manuka Road is a car entrance. Don't make that mistake. Um, Anything else I can tell you about Manuka? I, I, I like it. You know, it's it, like I said, it doesn't have all the the frills, but it has everything you need. It's just kind of a bare bones, everything you need. Maintenance wise, they maintenance trailers here, maintenance truck uh, trucks here with at least what I've seen, no weight, plenty of parking. You know, uh, kind of a pleasant place to spend a day, I would say. Um, yeah. Okay. And I, I'll finish up. I um. Uh, with, picture I'm sure it's already gone on here but uh, I met a guy who I'd actually already met a guy named Scott very easy to remember um, I met I believe it was during my um, my upgrade process um, and he was I think I want to thank I don't know if he was in PSD or TNT at that time but anyway he's solo now and uh, we've sat and talked for a long time really good to see him again um, nice to see you know when you bounce into somebody uh, that you've already met in the past. So really good to uh, sit with you, Scott. Uh, enjoyed my time with you. It was good to see you again. Hope to see you again sometime soon. Be safe. I think that'll do, do it for the Manuka uh, review. Uh, I, I liked it. If you can live without some of the frills, it's a great place to spend some time. Um, I, I do have a, a couple videos in the hopper up here. Uh, one I, I'll just tease a little bit. I just, right before this, went through probably the two most physically uncomfortable, miserable weeks of my trucking career. And I, I want to talk about that. That'll probably be the next video um, coming up. So uh, I'll make that one soon. This one, you know, the Manuka trip was a little bit uh, unexpected. You know, I had a trailer that was, was no good. It was a, I was able to make the delivery, but they wanted me to run it to the nearest uh, terminal so so I did and that's why I thought I'd get all my truck stuff done too so anyway I'll leave it there I hope everybody's having a great day and I hope you're well talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>